Canelo Alvarez has dominated the sport of boxing for the past eight years. With victory after victory, belt after belt, Canelo surely has cemented himself as one of the top, if not the top guy in the sport of boxing. After his loss to Floyd Mayweather, many wondered would there ever be another guy to stop Canelo's reign. Along came a man from the country of Russia by the name of Dmitry Bivol, who after his fair share of domination at the light heavyweight division, decided to take on the task. After Dmitry Bivol's dominating victory over Canelo Alvarez, let's dive deep and look at exactly what he did to defeat Canelo Alvarez. From the opening bell, it was clear that Dmitry Bivol wanted to keep Canelo Alvarez on the outside. Whenever Canelo would make any sudden move, Dimitri Bivol would immediately put his jab hand in Canelo's face, blinding him and not allowing him to get on the inside. Dimitri Bivol, knowing he had the much longer arm and reach advantage, he would time Canelo beautifully and throw the combinations that he's known for from a safe distance, never allowing Canelo the opportunity to be able to counter him. Being at such a safe distance, whenever Canelo would come in for his offense, Bivo would see it coming from a mile away and easily avoid Canelo's onslaught. Keeping the jab in Canelo's face, Canelo had to resort to fighting from the outside, but being the much smaller man, that was a recipe for disaster. Dimitri Bivol forced Canelo to fight his fight, something that no one other than Floyd Mayweather was able to do. Canelo Alvarez was never able to penetrate Bivol's tight guard. All of the punches he landed were on the elbows or on the gloves of Bivol. The few punches he did land in Bivol's face had no impact at all whatsoever due to Bivol being used to fighting guys much bigger than he is. Canelo being the smaller man against most of his opponents was just not used to fighting like this. Bivol would throw punches from the outside and never overcommit, so even the punches he was able to miss Canelo could not counter. Bivol's guard was so tight, Canelo was unable to find anything other than gloves and elbows. Canelo had never fought a much taller fighter with a guard this good. Guys like Caleb Plant and Billy Joe all kept their hands down, allowing Canelo to be able to land on them. Midway through the fight, Canelo was gassed and frustrated, and Bivo was still fresh. Canelo couldn't land anything solid, hitting elbows and gloves and missing all night really ate away at Canelo's stamina in the ring. Bivo kept doing what he was doing all night, staying on the outside, and even the times he leaned on Canelo and let Canelo tee off, by then Canelo was just so exhausted, his punches just had no steam on them, and even if they did, Bivo was just too big in condition for any punch to do any sort of damage. At this point in the fight, it was clear that Canelo was just unable to do anything other than land a few punches while Dimitri Bivo was on the ropes, but due to clear fatigue, the punches landed had no mustard behind them, and it was clear that Dimitri Bivol was just having his way and his outside fighting was just too much for Canelo to handle. The punches and bunches were too overwhelming and the hand speed difference on display just made it a living hell for Canelo that night. The hand speed made it extremely difficult for Canelo to be able to counter and all he was able to do was just move his head out of the way. Dimitri Bivol put on a masterclass against the number one pound for pound fighter in the world and made it look easy. He did what old school coaches tell all their fighters to do all the time, fight your fight. 